Hello, hello. My tip, my topic today is on 10 tips for overcoming anxiety and overwhelm for business owners and entrepreneurs and really actually anybody. Uh, but one of the key things that you can do for overcoming anxiety and overwhelm uh, for business owners is business owners to actually write it all down. Um, and you have to have quiet time to do that and so the best time in my opinion to do this is during a morning routine so you actually have to start a morning routine but this is a good time to do it so get a journal um, and a pen and write down everything that it is that you need to do and one uh, key reasons for overwhelm is because you don't actually have a clear direction so if you write it all down and then you don't have you're not sure what to do ask yourself questions on how can I do this or uh, what can I do um, to uh, move the needle in this direction and sit there and wait for the answers to come and they actually do come this is a technique that I use often myself and it really does work and um, so write it uh, write all the things down that you need to do put them in order of importance the things that are really going to move the needle for your business um, and uh, then schedule it in your planner or your journal. Um, the, it can be the top three things for that week, the top five things, uh, the top thing that you need to get done for that next day, but make sure that you schedule it. Uh, one thing that I found helpful is also to get a, uh, one of those large desk uh, planners. Uh, calendars and you can put it on your desk that way you also have it right there in your uh, in front of your face so that it, you can remind yourself during the day uh, what it is that you need to do next um, so getting it on paper that's really going to help to calm you and motivate you and and really give you the energy to move forward because now you have a plan uh, the next thing that uh, really helps to uh, overcome anxiety is to exercise. And a good time to do this is during your morning routine. Uh, what exercise does for you for anxiety and overwhelm is it increases the uh, serotonin and dopamine in your brain and it also increases what the serotonin and the dopamine does and it, hel it helps you to uh, uh, to be less stressed, it's a, those are anti-stressors, and um, it improves your mood and helps you to overcome that overwhelmed feeling. And it also improves, uh, uh, exercise improves uh, blood oxygen to your brain, so you have better uh, cognitive functions. So again, that helps you for with lessening anxiety and overwhelm during the day. Um, another thing that is important is nutrition. Uh, garbage in, garbage out. I like to say that to my kids. They don't like it so much. Uh, but um, really it is true. So if you're not giving your body the uh, fuel it needs, then you're not able to function properly throughout the day. And you're less able to think well, your body doesn't work well, your mind's not working well, which ramps up anxiety and overwhelm, and you're less able to function properly. So get new good nutrition. Try to eliminate processed foods and eliminate sugars, which is easier said than done, but it really does help you function better throughout the day. Um, which leads to caffeine. If you're dealing with anxiety and overwhelm, then you really have to re reduce and limit that caffeine because that really uh, makes anxiety worse. So try to limit your caffeine intake. Um, supplementation. Supplementation such as ashwagandha, ginkgo, ginseng, these are adaptogens and they help to balance out your, uh, their, uh, balance out your stress hormones and so and it helps to reduce cortisol levels so you're able to better handle anxiety and overwhelm. Um, next would be electronics. Put your phone away. Um, and one of the reasons we are overwhelmed and anxious is because we know we need to put the silly thing away and we know that it is completely hijacking our ability to focus, our ability to, to concentrate and to get anything done because every bing and every bomb we want to pick it up and we want to take a look and see, you know, who, uh, who liked our, le our latest Instagram post. So. Uh, you have to put it away and you really do have to put it away because it's also been shown there's been a study uh, done that if it's 
right there in front of you, but it's off. Uh, your concentration and your focus is still on, I want to pick up and see what's going on. So it literally has to be on the, uh, in the other room. Um, and this will really improve your day, your focus, um, and lessen your anxiety and overwhelm. So put your phone away. Next would be organize your space. Um, it has been, there's been studies done on this as well. If um, you have a cluttered space, then you have a cluttered mind and um, it increases stress. So um, clean your space, give, your, give you a, uh, the places that you're going to be most, make sure they're calm and peaceful and restful, clean, organized spaces. That way you have an organized mind and it helps to reduce anxiety and overwhelm because your space is uncluttered, so your mind is uncluttered. helps to unclutter your mind as well. Um, sleep. Sleep is really essential that you get at least seven to upwards of nine hours of sleep at night. Um, because what this does for you is it helps to reset your body, reset your mind, and actually heal your uh, your brain and your and your and your mind, um, and improve your cognitive function and your ability as well uh, to think clearly. Um, so if you're not getting the sleep that you need, you're not. Uh, you have brain fog and you're not functioning as well the next day because you're less able to handle the stress and the overwhelm because you didn't get the sleep that you needed the night before. So try to get enough sleep every night. Self-doubt. This is a big one. Um, when you're telling yourself lies all day long, which is what they are, and it's what you need to realize, those limiting beliefs, those that self-doubt, it's lies. The truth is, is you are worth it. Uh, you can do it. You are good enough. You will succeed. So realize when that negative crap comes up in your head, uh, replace it with the truth that you are worthy and you can do it. And then that helps to replace the calm and uh, give you uh, ability to get rid of that stress because you know that you're worthy and you're going to be able to do it. Um, also self time. You really need uh, to take time for yourself. So say during the, the middle of the day you are feeling that, the middle of your work day you're feeling that stress come up. Well, or that anxiety come up. One of the things you can do if you have a, a, a quiet space is you can go and spend 10 minutes and release the negative and release the stress and release the yuck that has been building up throughout the day and and fill it with calm and peaceful thoughts and uh, go to your happy place so bring the dark negative anxiety release it and bring in the peace and the calm try to do that for with with deep breathing and try to do that for 10 minutes and that helps to completely reset you and you can go about and be more productive for your rest of your day also if you can um, if it's nice weather out uh, take a 10 minute walk um, around uh, your area there um, in nature and that helps to help reset you being out in nature and the warm sunshine um, it really helps to, uh, to improve your mood and you can come back and be more productive and less overwhelmed. Um, another thing that you really should do along with that self time is to spend time um, when you're not at work with friends and with family. Uh, one of the things that this really helps you to do, uh, connected close relationships, is it just gives you a feeling of peace and well-being. Um, it in increases, this also helps to increase those feel-good hormones, which is the serotonin and the dopamine and the oxytocin as well. And um, they're anti-stressors and they increase your feeling of well-being. And when you take time to rest and relax and, res and reset, you are actually more productive at work. Um, and you're, uh, your mood is improved and um, your day is improved because you took time off and you enjoyed yourself and you relaxed and so when you get back to work now you're able to handle those stressful situations and you and you feel much better and you're much more productive so remember it's really important to take time and rest and relaxation for yourself as well so there are some 10 tips uh, for helping you to overcome anxiety and overwhelm. I hope some of that was useful to you, and I'll see you again next time.